Everybody who's prayed a St. Jude Novena probably has a St. Jude story. I didn't take, you know, the typical route of, you know, nine days. I decided I'm gonna pray this Novena prayer every single day indefinitely. And so I prayed for a few months and it only took about three months for him to really like work a miracle in my life. I definitely can attribute like many instances of grace, I think to his intercession, ways that my heart changed just praying this prayer every day. But a funny thing happened when I was in Rome, at this church, this random church, just walking around as you do in churches in Rome. And a priest comes out of one of the side chapels and kind of taps me on the shoulder and was like, hello, here's a first class relic of St. Jude. Um, repeat after me and pray this prayer. <laughs> so I'm like, don't know where you came from, don't know who you are, but you know, thanks for kind of chasing me down with this relic. I already pray a lot of prayers to St. Jude, so yes, I, I will pray this prayer with you. And we did, and then he just took the relic, put it back in its little reliquary, and that was that. I don't have a specific miracle that I can attribute to this novena, and many people do. I encourage you to look them up. He's really just encouraged me to believe that there's always hope, even when there isn't tangible evidence of a miracle happening. Just the fact that I can receive grace by virtue of my baptism. Anything in front of me is not a lost cause because of Jesus Christ. And St. Jude has really shown me that. 